With the 6800K, you have a rich land of possibilities. I did that with a straight face. Oh, I'm face palming so far. <laughs> That the, that's got to be like one of the worst puns. That is like worse than some of the puns that we had uh, with, when JJ was here. It's so bad that it went all the way around, but it didn't quite make it back into the good. Oh, it's just, it's just bad. It's like really bad late night stuff you would see on USA in like the 90s. <laughs> with Gilbert Godfrey narrating. <laughs> it, 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 USA, it, up all night! <laughs> it's one click away from like sham wow. <laughs> That guy with a ridiculous headset and the jawline, because you've got the jawline. <laughs> oh, no. It's just the beard. Uh, let's talk about the A10 uh, 6800K, the new Richland part from AMD, and it looks just like the AMD 5800K, almost just like it. In fact, it it looks like they use the same. It's still a 32 nanometer manufacturing process, still FM2, and it still is a 100 watt TDP. So what has changed with the 6800 and why is it a little, little bit faster? When you compare it to the 5800K, the 5800K uh, base clock is 3.8 and the turbo clock is 4.2. With the 6800K, the base clock is 4.1 and the turbo clock is 4.4, giving us just a little bit better performance to justify the little bit bigger price tag. You also get but, a little bit of a bump on the GPU. Yeah, and here's the way what they've done here. Um, well, the, yeah, the GPU clock is up to uh, 844 versus 800. Um, now, and also the... Um, the DDR3, well, it, you can use maximum of 2133 megahertz DDR3, or you can overclock a little bit. And we did overclock some. Uh, we did a video testing different speeds of RAM with this, and you guys may want to check that out. So that, that, that could be really amazing for you to watch. In fact, I wish I was you guys so I could watch it and not be in it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, anyway, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, so, so what makes this better than the 5800K other than the slight bump up? Uh, in, in speed. Some people thought maybe it's just a, you know, a nice bend 5800K. Well, it's actually not because the, uh, the voltage regulation process is a little bit different. Now, with the 5800K, sometimes you'd be playing a video game and the APU would be like, hey, there's 100 watts. I want all the power. I need it all. And then the, the, uh, the quad core portion of the uh, CPU would go, <laughs> that's the noise it would make. It'd be like, hey, you're, you've got all the power. <laughs> I have this, no power. Uh, I have no power. I'm dying. <laughs> hey, I'm dying. Even though it was a quad core, it was it was terrible. Yeah, well, it, it, the power management was it's not that bad, but it was not as good as it is on the 6800K. The 6800K seems to be more intelligent. When one requests power, it's like, oh, let me evenly distribute things, you know? So that's... That's going that to was a pleasant a bump, bump. surprise from the benchmarking. Yeah, so that and that also helps them keep that 100 watt TDP. Now, also with this platform, and this one really it just crushed all the records with overclocking. Um, they hit over eight gigahertz, over eight with all cores enabled. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. That's crazy. So they've changed the way the overclocking works in this one, whereas before it was based upon the um, uh, the, the wattage. You know, you hit a certain wattage, you're cut off. That's all you get. Well, this one is based upon the temperature. So as long as the temperature is low enough, yeah, you can have some more power. Hope you don't melt your motherboard. Hope you know what you're doing. Hope you have a decent motherboard. So if you have a really good motherboard uh, with a dis decent power phase design, and also you want to get make sure you have a thick PCB, you can really push the hell out of this thing. Just get some good cooling, some liquid nitrogen, you know, just sit there and pour it on the entire time you're gaming. This switch from TDP to the temperature base is probably going to matter more for the next generation uh, APU, but we thought it was interesting that they explicitly said that was one of the main features of this platform. They're laying some groundwork. Now, we're going to feature this CPU in our upcoming Kill Your Console uh, build. We're doing two different builds. We're doing one uh, for as low of a cost as possible, but still, you know, we want to deliver some nice uh, gameplay. So we're going to use a 6800K for that. And then we're going to do a separate system with a 6300 that's not an APU. There's no dedicated graphics card, uh, but it's going to be like 150 extra bucks, and you're going to get a 6-core and a dedicated graphics card. So we're giving you guys options. You can enter at any point. And the other thing that's nice, if you do get an A10 6800K uh, and you decide to use the onboard video, and um, let's say like a year or two from now you want to upgrade to a graphics card, do not worry. The quad core is quite capable, uh, and it will be able to keep up with some of the fastest quad cores out there when you add a dedicated graphics card in gaming. In productivity, no. In rendering, no. But in gaming, since it's mostly going to be done on the graphics card, you'll be okay. I mean, it still won't be quite as fast as a $300 CPU, but it's not going to be half as fast. It'll be like, it's almost the same speed. It really is. It's ridiculous. We did some very terrible things. We, we put a very expensive GPU in just to see what would happen. And yeah, it actually, we put a 780. It was uh, actually pretty this, crazy. Yeah, it's almost the same speed. So if you guys want to see those results and yell and scream about them. It depends on the game, too. Yeah, it does depend on the game. 
The ones that are more CPU intensive are a little bit like e. <laughs> They're much more sketchy. Yeah, but games like Bioshock that are not that CPU intensive that rely a lot on the uh, the graphics card, Unreal Tournament, uh, I mean, not Unreal Tournament, uh, Unreal Engine games and stuff like that do a really good job. So check out that video. It's here. And next thing I want you to do is I want you to check out the Kill Your Console video. Now we have several different videos here. We have if you want to go ahead and build the console replacement PC, you can do that. Just pick the $450 version with the AMD 6800K or you can pick the $600 version with the uh, 6 core. And if you guys just need some convincing or you want to like hang out with us and, and, and laugh and talk a little bit, we have another video just about why uh, you guys should switch over to PC. And what's crazy about the $450 console video is that if you stretch, you actually could get it under $399. Yeah, you really could. I mean, we use like extremely high quality components, but you can get about the same speed and cut a couple corners and you'll be just fine. So check out all those videos and uh, yeah, have a bag of potato chips. Try. See you.